Every single day, over 10,000 children die from famine or malnutrition, with around 854 million people worldwide estimated to be impacted by starvation. Poor nutrition and hunger lead to the deaths of around 3.1 million children every year, being nearly half of all the deaths of children. Infectious diseases, primarily those derived from poor nutrition, also remain a leading cause of the deaths of children under five. Feed My Starving Children is a nonprofit organization that works to solve world hunger and prevent these deaths by arranging the packaging and distribution of food to people and countries that are suffering from malnourishment and starvation. In addition to packaging and distributing food, Feed My Starving Children also supports artisans in foreign countries, as well as supports schools who may be unable to provide meals for students. Established in 1987 and founded by Richard Proudfit, Feed My Starving Children is primarily based in Minneapolis. However, the organization has various branches throughout the United States, as well as more locations in other countries. The mission of Feed My Starving Children is to see every child whole in body and spirit by working together with various food distribution partners, empowering communities to move from relief to development in order to grow, develop, and thrive to their full potential. Nearly 228 million people across just 58 countries face crisis or even higher levels of food insecurity, including 45 million young children. That's nearly one out of every three children under five face a lack of consistent access to enough food for every person within a household to live properly and healthily. Due to the severity of food issues internationally and the various consequences that can be derived from it, it's a vital cause to attempt to solve world hunger. Feed My Starving Children works to aid those in need by helping to create various nutritional formulas to tackle various dietary issues and infectious diseases that children suffering from malnutrition may have. The three food formulas produced by Feed My Starving Children are made to provide protein, carbohydrates, various key nutrients, oil rehydration, replenished lost nutrients, and more each specially made to be distributed to individuals who may be experiencing issues with more specialized or particular dietary issues contained in their Manipak Rice, Manipak Potato D, and Manipak Potato W formulas. While creating meal formulas to combat various issues in relation to malnutrition, Feed My Starving Children even makes an effort to create formulas that even accommodate the formulas to be culturally neutral and able to be accepted by people globally by making their formulas vegetarian and halal certified, allowing the organization to be an organization able to provide aid in everywhere. One of the main groups of individuals Feed My Starving Children prioritizes on receiving food is typically schools, with about 35% of Feed My Starving Children partners reporting that the primary context in which they use meals received from the organizations are school meal programs. For a fair wage, Feed My Starving Children purchases handmade goods from local artisans, then resells these wares at various locations. By doing so, they support the livelihoods of the artisans and promote economic growth in the community, with each purchase funding the nutritious ingredients served in the meals Feed My Starving Children distributes as well, which can be purchased either in their online store or in their in-person locations. During our brief visit to the Feed My Starving Children location in Mesa, the three of us were granted the opportunity to meet with some of the employees and fellow volunteers, get a behind-the-scenes look at their warehouse and other processes, and volunteer ourselves to pack 26,000 in 136 meals for children in need. Before even entering the building, volunteers, usually in groups of 50 to even 200 people, are presented with hairnets to ensure the food being packaged is done so safely. Before actually volunteering, volunteers are made to sit and watch a brief presentation on who Feed My Starving Children is, what they do, why they do it, and the kind of work they'll be helping out on during their time volunteering. 
After finishing the presentation, volunteers are made to wash their hands before moving to their respective stations, which contain two large metal tables divided into different sections for various tasks, primarily scooping, bagging, weighing, sealing, and boxing. With people positioned at each station, as well as gloves provided for volunteers to use upon reaching their tables. At the scooping station, two to three people scoop flour, soy, rice, and vegetables into a cylinder where two people will interchangeably hold the bag to the bottom of the cylinder and collect the ingredients dropped from the scoopers and will then pass their bag to one of two weighers. The weighers will place the bags onto a scale and will adjust the weight accordingly, either by using a scooper to add more rice or to take more rice out, and then pass the bag to the sealers when the weight is within the recommended amount. After being handed the bags by the weighers, one person over the age of 18 will use a machine to seal the bag shut and pass it to the boxers, who will then arrange the bags and place them into boxes in counts of 36 bags per box, which will then be carried off by the warehouse crew. The warehouse crew themselves are another group of volunteers who manage ingredients, bringing boxes of specific ingredients to tables who call out for more. The teams are given around 45 minutes to an hour to compete against other groups in the facility to see whoever can pack the most bags within the designated time. Once the time is up, boxes are counted and volunteers are brought back to the lobby to be briefed and thanked for their service. Overall, by the end of the volunteering experience, Everyone present together packed 121 boxes or a total of 26,136 meals. By spending just an hour and 45 minutes of our day volunteering at Feed My Starving Children, we have fed 71 kids for a year worth a total of $7,579.44 in food. I'd like to express our appreciation to Feed My Starving Children for giving us the opportunity to volunteer. Without their help, we will not have been able to feed 71 young children for an entire year. Every child needs to be fed with food and spirit because everyone is a child of God.